Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 10th of 2023. Well, it is titled stars, dust and nebula in NGC 6559. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an example of a star forming region known by its catalog designation of NGC 6559. And a star forming region contains a number of different things. And here we see several different types of nebulae present here at once. And the nebulae that we see include the dark dusty nebulae, which are dark regions of star formation. Those are dark denser areas, not an absence of material, but the presence of excess material that blocks out the light from behind it. So it's not that there's nothing there, but there's a little more material there than there is elsewhere. And it is enough that it is blocking out the light from behind it. Now the other type of nebulae that we see are glowing and one is the red glow of hydrogen gas that is called an emission nebula and we see that all around this image, the hydrogen gas when excited gives off a distinct red light. Now each element will give off a distinct color. But since hydrogen gas is the most common element in the universe, and in any star forming region or anywhere else in the universe, we will see an awful lot of hydrogen glow in that red glow of hydrogen gas. Now we also see down toward the bottom a little bit to the left, an example of a reflection nebula. A reflection nebula occurs when there is a little bit of dust around a hot star and it, it scatters the light from that star. Now typically when there's a lot of dust you get a dark nebula when there's just a, a lower amount of dust it scatters that light and it preferentially scatters blue light as compared to red. So the blue light gets scattered and seems to come from all over much as the way our atmosphere does to sunlight. When the sun when the sun is setting it looks very red not because its color has changed but simply because all of the longer way sorry all of the shorter wavelengths have been scattered out. And of course then we see the blue light coming from all directions in the sky giving our sky its blue color. So here we see a similar type of process with dust around a hot young star in this star forming region. Now the pattern that we see here is not permanent. It will continue to change over time and it will change because the stars are slowly modifying the patterns around them. As the stars form they eat away at the gas and dust and eventually cause it to disappear. So they will slowly push that material outward until it just dissipates out into the general interstellar medium. And what we'll eventually have left behind here is just a cluster of stars. So that was our picture of the day for July 10th of 2023. It was titled Stars, Dest, Dust and Nebula in NGC 6559. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be star eats planet. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.